So, for every meeting, there must be a conclusion. This is the same thing, but it is the same thing. In this program, the Dr. Johnson C. Philippe Nihana for the concluding message, parting message. He is the right person for that because he was raised in Madhya Pradesh when Dan Chan was there. So over to you, Johnson C. Philip. I'm not going to give you any restriction on time. <laughs> That's enough. I'll just say the Madhi. This morning when I reached this auditorium, I was stunned to see the digitally printed background. Dani Chayan, a larger than life man, depicted on a larger than life image. What stunned me more was what is printed in brown and I would request live team to focus as I read to focus on that brown text for a few moments and from the scripture let me read the same thing Philippians 1 21 for me to live is Christ and to die is gain Philippians 3 20 but our citizenship is in heaven and we eagerly await a savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, live team. I wanted the audience to see these two verses. I am very thankful to Cochin Bible Chapel and also to the family for the invitation extended to me to come here and present this message. And the backdrop here definitely reflects everything that I wanted to say. I have known Dani Chan for the last 60 years. He was a medical representative in Sandoz in Indore and my dad was a pioneer missionary in Gwalior and very frequently he used to come to Gwalior and whenever he would come, he would come with a carton of Santevini which was a multivitamin. Even 60 years after that, I have not forgotten that. As many of the people here are reminded, Dani Chan played a very substantial role when Cochin Bible Chapel was founded. I thank my cousin Abraham Thomas who persuaded Dani Chan to move to Cochin Bible Chapel. And uh, that I am sure because all these years I have closely seen that was one of the best decisions which Dani Chan made and uh, Abraham Thomas and Dani Chan though they are diff much difference in age they were the very thick of friends and uh, the amount of time they spent with each other is amazing. Cochin Bible Chapel is a unique assembly. I would always say it was a love affair started when some of us started an English medium gospel program. Eventually that program after one year culminated into an assembly which is now known as Cochin Bible Chapel. And once again I was stunned to see that to give a farewell to the body of Dani Chayan, four founding members of that assembly are available here. Brother Binoy is sitting there on my right hand. Brother Harris is there on my left hand. Abraham Thomas is on my left hand. And I was one of the founding members. And the only person, Brother Raju Koshi, who is absent here, uh, he is uh, not a local person. He is in Bangalore. That was the role played by Dani Chain in Cochin Bible Chapel. And that was the kind of blessing he was to us. But not, not only in CBC, Dani Chan played a lot of role in many, uh, many, many people's lives and also in institutions, some of which were listed here. He played a very great role in uh, SBS and SBS Camp Center, Puttengyava, and he never missed a camp there. 
one of the biggest things about Danny Chan, he was a silent philanthropist. He helped hundreds of poor people to stand upon their feet and he helped hundreds of people complete their professional education. He loved God. He loved God's servants. He helped hundreds of evangelists and pastors. He was a brethren man, but his help went beyond the boundaries of the brethren assemblies. His printing press, I still thank God for his printing press. I thank God for uh, Abraham Thomas who persuaded Danny Chain to start a press. He did not know the ABC of offset press, but A.T. who is an expert in that, he was the consultant. And I'm talking about things about approximately 25 years. At that time, computer was a mystery to everybody. So Abraham Thomas and Danny Chan pressed me into service. So Abraham Thomas set up the printing side. I set up the computer side. My wife became the first office secretary. She is a trained secretary. She became the first office secretary to help. And that press over the years, many of them said millions, no. That's a wrong number. Over the years, that press for SPS, for many brethren evangelists, for many Pentecostal churches, Pentecostal pastors, and God knows what kind of groups, tens of millions of pieces of literature were printed, and if the actual number is hundreds of millions, I would not be surprised. He made a lot of uh, secular contributions also, we heard about uh, Toastmasters International and how he founded it and how there are at least 50 or more branches in India today. In Kerala, I'm stunned. The question is, how could a non-assuming man, how could he do all this? I have known Danny Chan very closely from the time I was eight. And uh, after he came to Cochin Bible Chapel, it was a time of a second love affair between us. His contributions, his life and contributions can be summarized in three simple slogans. And each one of us today who have come here to pay our respects to him, our tributes to him. If we also embrace those three things, we can also become equally influential in this world. And those three, three slogans are related to one to life, one to death, and one to afterlife. And all those three slogans are summarized in this verse. You have been reading my mind. It was designed by Abraham Thomas. He has been reading my mind because I was going to preach from these two verses and lo, this morning I find those verses here. Good to have uh, a common assembly relationship where you can read each other's mind. For me to live is Christ. That's the first slogan. Danny Chain knew what the key of life is. The key of life is Christ. Without Christ, life is empty. And with Christ, Life is so blessed that, well, it becomes meaningful in every area that you touch. I've known his personal life. He, he kept it very private. Even many of us who knew about his personal life, we did not know the fullness, the areas in which he made contributions. If you and I have that, to me, to live is Christ. If that is the first slogan in our life, if that is the first commitment in our lives, we also would be able to live a life that makes similar contributions to the human society wherever we are, whatever we are. His second slogan was related to death. For me, to die is gain. I know a lot of people who are terrified as they reach the moment of death. Because death for them is no gain. 
and Lodani Chan went away smiling. I could not believe when I saw his face this morning. He left this world with confidence, smiling because he knew that this life that I devoted to Christ, that I lived for Christ, gives me the assurance that when I shall reach his throne room, when I will be in his presence, he would definitely be, he will definitely tell me, my servant, my slave, you were faithful in things that were entrusted to you. And now I'm going to make you, I'm going to entrust you much more. And the third slogan by which he lived was, my citizenship is in heaven. Many, many of us, even though we have accepted Christ, we forget that our citizenship is in heaven and therefore we are terrified, we are fearful when it comes time to go there. Danichan had these three things to, for me to live is Christ. I'm not saying, I'm not claiming that he was a saint. None of us is a saint and if any one of us is a saint, we don't belong here. We are all humans, we are all mortals. And among mortals, he was another mortal who influenced, who touched and who blessed thousands upon thousands of people directly and millions of people through the tracks and other things that went through his press. For me to live is Christ. He exemplified it, especially to us who were close to him. For me to die is gain. That's why he left this world smiling. My citizenship is in, is in heaven. He knew it. He understood it. And he made all preparation to go there. And he sent a lot of material there in advance to build this building. This morning, or rather this noon, those of you who are listening to my message either in this auditorium or live, I have one question to ask. You love Dani Chayan. You appreciate his life. That's the reason why you are listening. That's why you are present either here or online. The question is, my dear friend, my dear brother, my dear sister, have you made sure that you have the same life? Dani Chan wanted everyone to know about this life and that's why he used his press along with his business to see that millions upon millions of copies of tracks are printed. Roy mentioned that my dad was the coordinator. Yes, my dad coordinated the printing and sending of tracks to millions upon millions of tracks to North India. And my close ministry associate, Dr. Sanish Charyan, for three years he stayed in a building hired by Dani Chayan to dispatch it all. Why did Dani Chayan do all this? And what about you? Do you have the same hope in your life? If not, in five sentences, I will explain that message of hope. Just five sentences. Please pay attention to me. Everyone who, who is born in this world will have to go. Everyone who is born in this world is a sinner and therefore he should make sure exactly where he shall go. Everyone born in this world can make sure that he will go and be in the presence of Christ if he or she accepts Lord Jesus as his or her personal savior. This message was given to me when I was a child and on the spot I knelt and accepted Lord Jesus as my personal savior. So I'm very, very sure that tomorrow when I leave the world, I will go to the same place where Dani Chayan is today. Not only me, among those who are listening, there are a lot of people who can say the same thing. 
फाइव आई एम टॉकिंग टू यू अबाउट योर इटर्नल डेस्टिनी नॉट अबाउट डे टू डे अफेयर्स वी शुड नेवर प्ले विद अवर इटर्नल डेस्टिनी एंड देयर फॉर द फिफ्थ सेंटेंस इज ए क्वेश्चन माई डियर फ्रेंड्स माई डियर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स have you made sure in your life that this life which dani chan had and all his family members have many of us have make sure that you also have this life you may say brother uh that was too brief i don't understand no problem there are many many of us here who are ready to share the details with you today the family is in pain but after the funeral is over ask even any of the family members kochin bible chapel members are all zealous to share the gospel ask any of them and they will share the message of exactly how you can possess this joyful life Dani Chen is one of the few people who have left a deep impact upon me. I remember an incident in Suvisheshagan Balasangam camp site. Brother Abraham Thomas and I actually we are cousins. We always stay in the same room. And the room has such massive windows that it acts as a um hot oven. once when dani chan came there and uh, uh he said uh, inside of the room must be like an oven isn't it and it he said yes a chain it is like an oven and he said johnson jcp uh he, he used to call me by all my names including my pet name raju jcp is also with you in that room it he said yes oh he said you are trying to kill him and that day after after my class when i returned to my room lo there was an ac in that room he said that is tani chance gift he has impacted thousands upon thousands of persons directly millions of people indirectly and he has left a legacy and therefore his four children who are sitting here i want to remind you my dear children by age you are all my children one of them is my cousin dear children carry on this legacy that will be the greatest tribute you can pay to your father my dear friends three key words which he had in his life let us once again renew our commitment to those three keywords and friends family members and all those who are listening to me on online platforms let me request all of you i am talking about your destiny don't play with it accept lord jesus as your savior get the same life and also get the same joy same commitment before handing over to abram thomas i want to remind you one thing dani chan is no more even this morning i thought that he might be proposing a toast there <laughs>